Hi, it's Becky here from Genie Frog Crochet and I'm going to do a tutorial today to show you how I make this beautiful little daisy granny square. I'm making a blanket at the moment um, made up of these daisy squares all in the same colour. Um, I think while I'm doing it actually it's given me an idea that I think it would be beautiful to do lots of different colour outers around um, the daisies but off my brain goes in a different direction. So today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous little square. Um, I am using um, a DK yarn in Stylecraft Special DK. The colours I'm using are dandelion, white and blush. Um, but really for this pattern you can use any yarn you like um, and whatever hook size goes with your yarn. So today you'll just need your yarn, um, your crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle wherever my darning needle is. So let's dive right in and get started. So to make the centre I'm going to take my dandelion and I'm going to place a slip knot on my hook like so. And I don't actually use a magic circle. You could use a magic circle um, to put your centre stitches into, but I just like to uh, make my loop by chaining four. So to chain one, two, three, four. And then I just take my hook and insert into the first chain, this one here that I made and join to that with a slip stitch so you pull through both loops on your hook and then there's going to be essentially 12 double crochets into this center hole that we've made here so the first double crochet we're going to do a chain three instead just to get us up to the right height one two three so then I'm going to make 11 double crochets into this center stitch so to make a double crochet you yarn over and insert your hook into this hole in the middle and I like to work over my tail at the same time to make it nice and secure so pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two and that's your first double crochet. So we're going to make 10 more. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert your hook into that hole, pull through two through two and as you can see the more stitches that go into that center ring the more obvious it becomes so what have we got we've got our chain three two three four five six seven nine, ten, let's have a little check. So we count our chain three as the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need another two double crochets in here. One, So there we go and then you want to join to the top of your chain three with a slip stitch. And that is your first center completed. So you can cut your yarn and fasten off. 
and then at this point you can pull this tail at the back to close up your ring and make it nice and neat and secure. So now we're going to go on to the daisy petals using the white. So you're going to pop a slip knot on your hook. Like so. And then I like to work the opposite side to where my tail is from the previous round. And for this first petal, I'm going to you're going to be doing treble clusters around the center and I like to use standing stitches so this first stitch is a bit tricky because you have to do a standing treble crochet um, I do have a separate video on how to do standing stitches um, if you want to take a look at that I'll pop it in the um, description underneath but we're gonna yarn over twice and insert into the stitch now to do a cluster, you don't complete your stitches, so treble cluster, we're going to pull through two, pull through two, but you don't complete the treble. We're going to yarn over twice again, go back into the same stitch, pull through two, pull through two and then we're going to do that one more time so yarn over twice insert into the same stitch pull up a loop pull through two pull through two and then you're going to pull through all the loops on your hook so you've got four loops on your hook that last one is the beginning standing stitch so you're going to pull through all of those loops and try and keep your first tail nice and tight and then we're going to chain two and in the next stitch and in every stitch around we're going to make another treble cluster so let me show you that again so we're going to yarn over twice go into the stitch pull up a loop we're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we're going to do the same again, yarn over twice, into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two partial trebles, so we're going to do another one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on the hook and chain two so we're going to do treble clusters all the way around to make the petals of our daisy twice into the stitch and another one partial treble, two, two, and then pull through all of the loops on your hook. And then chain two, don't forget to chain two between your petals. Yarn over twice, into the stitch, pull through two, pull through two. And yarn over twice, into your stitch, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over twice, into your stitch, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through all the loops to make your cluster. And then chain two. So I'm going to pause the video now, um, and I'm going to go all the way around. When you get to this where you've made your chain three, don't forget to make sure you've got a petal actually I'll do that with you now let me just do one more here because it can sometimes be a bit tricky to make sure you're getting into the right loops 
So where we joined to our chain three, there's a, what sort of is a stitch at the top of that chain three there. So you want to go into there. It can sometimes be a bit tricky to get in depending on how tightly you've pulled your join. the last treble into there. Go through all of them. Chain two. So you want to ignore these loops now at the top of this chain three. You want to make sure you go into the top of your next double crochet. Otherwise you're going to end up with 13 petals and we only want 12. And what I like to do here is get this tail and tuck it under so that I can grab it and trap it underneath my stitches. So we're going to do another treble into that stitch. And you'll see that, that what felt like it was going to be a gap in your stitches actually isn't. It's, it sits nicely. I'm going to go over that tail one more time. Treble clusters are so rhythmic and therapeutic, I think. All your loops. Oh, look at me saying, don't forget your chain two. And I forgot my chain two. Frog, frog, frog. Genie frog, genie frog. chain two. Don't forget your chain two. Yarn over twice. Three, two, three, two. Chain two. I was going to pause the video but I may as well just finish these last few with you now. Still crocheting over my tail at the back there. Chain two. And we've got three stitches left, so hopefully we'll have ten of these clusters if I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, what am I thinking? <laughs> twelve. Oh, maths. It's Christmas Eve Eve here at the moment, so everybody's a bit flustered, especially when you've got five-year-olds in the house. Chain two. And last two. There we go. Last cluster and then you're going to chain two and you're going to join to the top of your first cluster in this stitch here. To be a bit careful because it's your standing stitch. So you want to make sure your loop doesn't get too big. So pull through with a slip stitch. And then we're going to fasten off. And that is your white section completed. So next we're going to turn this circle into a square. So I'm going to get my blush yarn, pop a slip knot on my hook again. Like so. And I like to have um, my ends sitting on a corner 
so that when I weave the end in, there's lots of lovely bunched up stitches to hide it underneath. So if this is going to be my corner, and then I'm going to have two sides, so I'm going to start in the one, one two, th fourth space after my join. So in your chain two space, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to start in the fourth and I'm going to be doing a standing treble crochet. So you're going to yarn over twice, insert into that chain two space, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through the last two. Standing trebles can be a bit tricky until you get the hang of them, but don't worry, just if it doesn't look neat, if you don't like it, just pull it out. That's what frogging's for. And try again. So I'm gonna make a chain two now, which makes our corner. And into this same chain two space, I'm gonna make three more treble crochets. So yarn over twice into the stitch into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over two, pull up a loop and do a treble and you're going to do two more of those. One, two, three. This is why I like US terms because to me a double is when you pull through twice and a treble is when you pull through three times. It just makes more sense in my brain. So in the next two spaces, we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. So basically a granny cluster. In the next space, another three. Double. Double. And then in this next space, we're going to make three trebles. Chain two for our corner and another three trebles in that same space. So there's your corner, which is the same as this corner. So you're going to repeat this another three times. So in the next two spaces, three doubles. One, two, three. And then three trebles, chain two, three trebles your corner. Two, three, chain two, I'm going to repeat that for the last two sides. I'm going to pause the video and I will meet you at the end. So I'm just about to do my last group of doubles. One, two, three. And if you remember, we started with a single um, treble crochet on its own before we did the corner so we need to pop another two in that space 
to complete our corner. One, run over twice. Two, and then I'm going to join to the top of the standing treble with a slip stitch. Like so. Now I think that on its own is actually a tidy, quite beautiful, neat little square. But I'm actually going to make it bigger, like... Um, like the ones that I'm making. If you wanted to cut off there, you could. And equally, if you wanted to cut off off the second row, but I'm actually doing three rows of the blush. So I will show you how to do that. So I'm going to now slip stitch over into my corner space. Like so. And to start the next round, I'm just going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And in that space, I'm going to pop another double and then chain two for our corner. And in the same corner space, another two doubles. This round and the next round is super easy because you're literally doing two doubles, chain two, two doubles for the corner. And then you just do a double crochet in each stitch along. Easy peasy, daisy squeezy. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast. I've been I've not um, done a video for a while. I've been doing Christmas projects, so I've been there's been smoke coming off my hook <laughs> for the last couple of months. I need to remember to go a bit slower for you guys. all the way across to the corner and then in that chain two corner space from your last round two doubles chain two two doubles in the same space and then double crochet in every stitch Along. I'm going to pause here and I'll meet you at the end of this row and show you how we start the last row. So I'm just coming up to the last couple of stitches to finish off this row. And don't forget you want to place a stitch in your slip stitch from the last round. So you basically want to make sure that there's a stitch at the top of this treble here. Because we slip stitched over into the corner, if you remember. There's a double in there. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three that we made first. And then so we're going to slip stitch into this last stitch and make our way over to the corner again and again you could stop at this point if you wanted to if you want a slightly smaller granny square slip stitch into the corner like we did in the last row. I like sort of starting a row in a corner because it just makes a nice neat finish, particularly when you're using the same color and you're chaining three for your first double instead of um, doing standing stitches. I just think it looks a lot neater. So the same as we did in the last round, we're just gonna chain three. It's exactly the same, basically. Chain three and a double. Then chain two for your corner and place another two doubles in that corner space. 
and then a double crochet in every single stitch and it's as easy as that and you're going to do the same as we did in the last row each corner space two doubles chain two two doubles and I will pause the video and I will meet you at the end to show you how to fasten off and to show you how I weave in my ends as well. And there we are, so I'm just coming up to my last few stitches. And again, you're going into slip stitches in these last two. So make sure you don't miss them. And they might be slightly harder to get your hook into than your other stitches. Ooh, sometimes they need a bit of persuading. There we go. And to finish off, I'm just going to join to the top of the beginning chain three with the slip stitch. And then we can fasten off. And make sure you pull it nice and tight. And there you have it, a daisy square. And now I will show you how I go about getting rid of these ends. Now because I crochet over my ends, I only go, I think the general rule of thumb is if you go back and forth in sort of three directions, they should be nice and secure and never pop their little heads out. Um, but obviously, you are making something handmade. So what I'll do is pop this yellow yarn onto my needle. And because I've crocheted over it, um, it's already going in this direction. So then I pop my needle in and go back for a few stitches in the other direction like so and then I go back again the way I came like that and that should be nice and secure now you can snip the end off and then the same with this one because I crocheted some of the clusters over the top of it. Just pop this on my needle. And go back in the other direction. It doesn't matter if you actually go through. I like to go under stitches and try and go through some of the fibres of the yarn. Like that. Because the, the more resistance it has coming through, the less likely it is to pop back through again. Like that. And then you just carry on weaving all your other ends. This one I like to put down through this cluster and under there. And as I say, the reason I like to start in a corner is because this end here can go back and forth in these lovely corner stitches. Um, and there you have it. So you weave in all of your ends. Oops. Pesky straggler. And there you have it. A daisy square. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like I say, I haven't made one in a while, so I'm a bit out of practice. Um hope you found it helpful and I'd love if you would um, leave me a comment or a like and subscribe um, if you don't already thank you to those of you that do um, I've missed you all so I will be um, hopefully doing a lot more of these videos for you in the new year very exciting and there's a few um, boxes coming up now with videos that I think you 
uh, might like. Um, I will put up the one um, for the standard stitches because it is um, a bit of a skill. But honestly, if you learn it, it's one of the best things um, I learned when I learned to crochet standard stitches. It makes life so much easier. Um, so have fun, enjoy, play with your colours, play with your yarn. Um, um, most importantly, just enjoy it. It's meant to be fun. Try not to get too frustrated as I used to. Um, and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.